वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट इम्पोस्टर्स इन हिस्ट्री सेव सिक्सटीन लाइव ड्यूरिंग द कोरियन वॉर एंड हेयर हाउ इट ऑल स्टार्टेड फर्डिन एंड डिमारा मेड अ करियर आउट ऑफ इम्पोस्टरिंग अंडर स्टोलन आइडेंटिटीज ही वर्क एज अ सिविल इंजीनियर अ डॉक्टर ऑफ अप्लाइड साइकोलॉजी अ जोलॉजी ग्रेजुएट एन असिस्टेंट वार्डन एट ए टेक्सिस प्रिजन फिलोसफी डीन एट ए पेंसिल्वेनिया कॉलेज एंड इवन एज अ मॉन्क on two separate occasions during the korean war he This was impersonating a doctor and got enlisted in the royal canadian navy and while aboard on one of the destroyers when several korean combat casualties were brought on board the responsibility of saving their lives fell to demara now demara allegedly possessed a photographic memory and an unusually very high iq he went back dug into his quarters and went through medical textbooks and emerged to save the lives of every single man including one who was required to have a major chest surgery news of his heroics and the media attention ultimately unmasked him and the canadian authorities not wanting any bad publicity and also upon the strong recommendation of his ship captain to show leniency towards him they deported him back to america Once back in the US he was desperately in need of money and gave an interview to Life magazine which was going to be published with the title The Fake Navy Doctor but by the time it was published the news was all over the media that Fred had once again disappeared now he was on the road and he took up different identities and in 1959 someone wrote a biography on him which was titled The Great Imposter which made Fred Demara a household name and Fred once again took the advantage of his new found fame and signed up for a Hollywood film by the title The Hypnotic Eye which was a standard horror film and of course Fred was the surgeon in it and later in 1961 The Great Imposter was also released as a movie and by this time fred had mainly given up his life of imposture and he lived till 1980 when he passed away due to diabetic complications but reflecting on the life of fred demara he was nonetheless a remarkable man he was intelligent charming adaptable compassionate and he also possessed a photographic memory but he put all his energy and talents into borrowing other people's lives but his accomplishments were mainly overshadowed by the crimes that he had committed but the great imposter could never see what he could have accomplished if he had the courage to just be himself and it's time to say goodbye to you with the message that always be yourself